In this tutorial, we'll go over how to manually adjust your camera view in OpenVSP. If we go to View and choose Adjust, it brings up the Adjust View window, where we've already talked about how to adjust your viewport size. But notice that we can also manually set our center of rotation or pick point, which is similar to just pressing R or choosing center of rotation. We can click on any of these points here. Notice how that center of rotation has changed. Or we can reset it to the origin and it snaps back here. Now you'll notice that as I'm orbiting around, all of these rotation values and angles are changing with me. I can do the same thing with zoom and pan. Now all of these, of course, can be set manually by typing a value in the box, or if you care, you can look at the parameter info itself. So these are all unique parameters that can be manually set or predefined in say a design file, or if you just wanna write them down and manually enter them. So if you happen to have more than four views that you'd like to save to the function keys, F1, F2, F3, or F4, as we've discussed, then you can simply input these values here and get the design view that you want. Now again, notice that all of these can be set and saved. If we highlight a component, you can see that we can change our axis marker size. So we can shorten or lengthen these and of course, by default, the value is one. But if we drag this all the way down to zero, notice that the origin is still there, it's just not displayed in the workspace. We can turn this back up and text label size corresponds to any type of measurements or text that you've placed inside your model. And it just adjusts how large that text happens to be. So something to consider is if we decide to go ahead and throw our background image of our top view for our Cessna here, jump to a top view, and deselect these components, if we middle click and try and adjust the zoom manually, it's kind of jumpy and it moves around and it's a little bit difficult to get things exactly right. But if we decide to collapse our zoom brackets a little bit so that we have some finer control here, let's move this around. And now we have a pretty good match to what that top view zoom level is. And now we can slide our components around, we can change our span, the tail placement, etc., And we've got a zoom and a vehicle layout that match that top view drawing. Now you can do this for any of the top views that you have. You can put a photograph in the background and try and match that geometry as well. So manually adjusting the view is actually a really powerful way of orienting your model so that you can design in a way that makes sense.